Today I'm going to be doing a dry compression test on a 5 horsepower Bruce and Stratton engine. This will cover basically all your Bruce and Stratton small engines, but this will be specific to this pre-1981 5 horsepower engine. This engine has a no start condition. If you have a no start condition, and you then check to see if you're getting fire and you're getting fire and you're getting fuel but you're still not getting it to run then it's a good idea to do a dry compression test it can detect if you have any internal engine wear or damage I bought this compression test kit at Harbor Freight for about $22 on sale it's a good tool for the DIY because you can use this with a lot of automotive applications if you have an automotive engine you can use this with too and it can help diagnose a lot of problems if you have a fuel shutoff valve on your engine it would be a good idea to leave it off while you do this test that would help keep from having any fuel going into the piston chamber while you're trying to do your compression reading first thing you want to do is remove the spark plug Then you want to find the right size adapter for your spark plug hole. Screw it down and tighten it up a little bit. Then you want to take your hose for your tester, screw it into the top of this adapter. You just want to snug it up. You don't want to strip anything out. Once you get it tight down on there, it has an O-ring on there to help seal it up. And then take your gauge, and the gauge just chucks on the end of this hose right here. Just like so. Sit it in a place where it won't fall off very easily while you try to crank it. Next, we want to turn over, over the engine several times build up the compression for our gauge. We may can do it a few more times. I had done it a couple times before I started filming. We're going to take a look at our compression reading. And don't mind the red and the green marks right here, that's for car engines. A small engine's not going to have the compression a car engine does. And we're reading just right above 60 PSI. And according to my research, with the pressure release valve in the engine to help make it crank easier, about 60 PSI is all you're going to get. So we got good compression on this end. From my research, a lot of these small Briggs and Stratton engines have a pressure release valve that when the engine's off while you pull in the pull rope, it releases pressure off the piston chamber to make the rope easier to pull. With that valve in there, you'll see about 60 psi compression. If you see anything lower than that, then you got some internal damage or wear. The specs on what it should be as far as running kind of varies. Briggs and Stratton really don't give any uh, specifications for what it should be, but from my research, between 60 and 90 psi, the engine should run. Anything above 90 psi, then the engine's in really good shape. Here's one more compression test you can do with this. First, you want to remove this this outer cover over the flywheel. flywheel normally turns clockwise what you want to do is go in reverse until you find the bottom of the compression stroke when it gets you don't feel any pressure trying to push it back the clockwise way then you also have low compression engine and it shouldn't run but as long as you feel that tension and it does try to and it wants to spring back the clockwise way, 
then you should have enough compression for the engine to run. That wraps up my compression test of this Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower engine. We found out that it does have compression, at least enough compression for it to start up and try to run. This engine may be old, but it should still start up or fire over. If this video helped you out and you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.